guys, Son of Beast here. We're back for another NBA 2K21 of the NBA Playoffs. This time we have just spoken out. The Bucks are closing it out with 3-2 at this point. And they'll be back to play Game 6 for their hometown in Milwaukee. Now, we're going to take a, them a break for a second as we go ahead and move to the next spot that we are seeing the Clippers facing against Utah Jazz. Not to expect what they're going to do, but this is more than we are ever expecting to see them play in this part of a challenge. This is not what we are looking for, but this is what they really want. So, who it will be? There will be a chance for them to take the lead in this game between Clippers and Utah Jazz. Not sure which one who's going to be in the, in the lead, but this is always what we are talking about for this part of the game. And not to mention before, there's just much uh, a lot of progress. I'm just doing a lot of uh, different technique in my only skill. Um, I expected you guys to watch um, watch one of the best highlights here. For Kawhi Leonard in this game on the playoffs, or for real this time, over 2K Sports, it's not going to be enough for them to just score the big hand. So, let's just get ready to get the cut in on Utah against LAC. As we are presenting this part of the red, white, blue flag of the national anthem. The Jazz. Hi everyone. We are back for it again to be here at the Vivid Smart Home Arena. This time, we here's DA on the sideline. He will be joining us here tonight. Here's D. Hey Kevin, thanks very much. The Utah Jazz made a big move last year with the trade from Mike Conley. Conley said the players they had in place two-way guys who play unselfishly is something I've built my game on. We have guys who are willing to do whatever it takes to win. Kevin, back to you. The Jazz, like the Jazz, thank you very much here for DA. And so we have some other uh, lineups that we are showing you by. We have this Paul George facing against Donovan Mitchell. And it's Reggie Jackson against Mike Conley. Boba Madonovich against Kawhi Leonard. Marcus Morris Sr. against Royce O'Neal, and Nicholas Batum against Rudy Gobeo. Not to expect, but Tyrone Liu, oh man, he's facing with his first win here if they can win it off in game five for this part of the game. So, let's see who wins this game. The Jazz wins the tip-off, we start now. Right now, here's uh, Gobert. Oh, he slammed it down. What a way to start the first game. I mean, the fifth game of the season to check out Rudy Gobert's gun. Assist by Mike Conley. Paul George keeping a roll out to Batum. Batum, Kawhi for three. He hits it deep, and they are putting up one point lead over Rudy Gobert's point. Jazz, they're working their way around right now. I know they could have gotten upset here in game six. Oh, Paul George, he takes a steal! But he couldn't finish it off, and it's Reggie Jackson able to recover the shot. Reggie Jackson's got his first bucket of the game. A nice rebound, but sometimes Paul George makes a steal. First uh, turnover here on Utah. Rudy Gobert in the corner, Conley in the two. The point is good. It's assist by Rudy Gobert. So it looks like uh, the Jazz are just facing a lot of it. Only the first seed that made it through. All the way to the top, clinched, clinched Western Conference team. Just kind of hard for them to just stick around with them. But for now on that uh, though, Reggie Jackson hitting a three once more. He's got five points. Mike Conley finds Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert pass to Conley. It's tipped away by Reggie Jackson. Three on one. And Nicholas Batum sends out the finish, a dunk. And it's Marcus Morris Sr. with the first assist. 
Here's Mitchell rolling over to Conley. Screen on Royce O'Neal. He goes over O'Neal for three. He missed that one as Paul George takes the first rebound. We play for about five minutes here in the first quarter. Paul George looking over is Ricky Jackson. Jackson to Paul George. Scoops and lays it in. Paul George got his first bucket. Here's Donovan Mitchell, never got his chance to score his bucket that time. He's going around in the wing, finds Rudy Gobert. He takes a tough look at that point as he gets his second bucket. 4.25 to go. It's 12 to 6 score. Lakers, I mean, sorry, Clippers lead by 6. George finds Leonard, taking a 3. High over Bogdanovich, and he gets a second, I mean third, his second third basket. Second three-pointer, I meant. It's six on a score. Now it's currently showing in the direction and taking another two. Hope you enjoyed the finals already, but now this is what everyone was thinking of what this game looks like as Phoenix Suns take the current lead in this score, one nothing over the Bucks. They will be playing in the second game, like I said here before. What a good team here on Rudy Gobert. He will get his first rebound. Rodanovich able to try to attack the double defender. And you guys heard that the tropical uh, tropical storm is heading towards here, so make sure you stay indoors. If you're in Florida, you might want to stay inside and shelter in place immediately. So you don't want to well, you don't want to get trapped outside already. So make sure you stay indoors, lock the doors, go to the higher grounds if it's flooded, and also be really careful of what the uh, emergency part of the wing. If if there is anything, trees or houses shredding apart, be very careful of what you're looking for here. As Trump the storm of Elsa is on its way, not to be confused by Elsa from the Frozen. Now, first timeout will be called is Utah. It'll be 2.52 left, 17 to 8 score. Well play out there for Kawhi Leonard to face, face it on with a true remarkable run. Remarkable run. But that is more what I was officially was thinking. Anyway, I'm just going to push the pace a little bit, just a little bit pace on the offense. You know what? Anyways. Here's the second one I'm going to do. Two changes here for Utah Jazz and the Clippers. Both teams are checking in as um, as Zubox comes in for the two. Man, it's man checking in for uh, for Paul for Kawhi Leonard switching the position. Zubox and Man and Luke Kennard and Marshawn Rondo. On the other hand is Jordan Clarkson along with uh, Derek Favors. And then we have is Joe Ingles. And then the last part of the player that we just made a switch here is, uh, is uh, his new changeup is Donovan Mitchell three. That will be his first three pointer here in game five. Here's uh, Rajon Rondo. He's outscoring his last time here since game number four, three in that series. Man, making over his canard for three. Able to drop it through. He will extend it up to take a nine, pick up nine in the lead. Luke Canard, first three-pointer of the game. With under two minutes, Jordan Clarkson to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell over Bernard Kawhi, and he's taking another rebound here, another miss here from Utah. They got a double man defender, is trying to avoid it. Rajon Rondo looking over again. He's trying to find an open man. Kennard for three. Hits a bite, and he takes the two three pointers, just like Kawhi Leonard did. Rajon Rondo got his first assist. No score on that one here. Here's Clarkson. Mitchell slammed it down like it never done before. Last minute to go here for the first period. 
The steal is on Jordan Clarkson, his first. First turnover on LAC. Solid D. But it's another rebound for Derek Rose. Der I mean, Derek Favors to pick it up. I'm sorry. I can't say Rose here because that's not his name. Derek Favors. Is that right? Canard. Back to man. Screen on Zubox. He does Zubox. Man in the drive. He will take a scoring layup here as he gets his first point. Only about 30 seconds here for the first quarter. Here's Donovan Mitchell. Over by Derek Favors. Favors to Mitchell. Able to stop him, but he lays it up again. No cover man on him. Kawhi Leonard trying to uh, look up patiently. Roger Rondo might be looking for himself to pick up a first win here in round number two. We're not sure if they're going to be enough for him to just stick around with them because they're back. Back to Kennard. Over to Roger Rondo. His third three-pointer is no good. That'll be the end of the first, first quarter. It's 25 to 17. We'll be right back in the second quarter after this. And if you're just tuning in for the second quarter, we'd like to welcome you back here at the Vivint Smart Home Arena. As you can see, the bear is the mascot for the Utah Jazz. He's just like pumping things up. They wanted to get things on a roll and see what they are doing here. Now for the best score, we are just looking for the better defenseman player of the year was Rudy Gobert. He's blocking so many shots that he has just made an outstanding, remarkable run in the game. But this wasn't the time that he was really trying to uh, hold on to. But other things might be cutting off as well. So, we'll have to see if Rudy Gobert is the defenseman player of the year. And the sixth man of the year, Jordan Clarkson. Right now, Rojan Rondo has got his first bucket, and they're back on the floor, all filled up, ready to go. Donovan Mitchell, able to take two more at that point. He has seven right now in the first quarter, but now he adds two, and he has nine points in this game. Mitchell trying to attack on Rojan Rondo, and we got a first foul called on Donovan Mitchell. This will be his first personal on the Utah Jazz. Rojan Rondo will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Wasn't able to take two shots here in the home game in game three and four. But this is what it looks like. If there isn't anything to say of what we got here. You can't mess up on Drew Holiday if he's making a two-pointer on that clock. His first shot's good. New change here for the Clippers and the Jazz. Three or four men coming out. Jackson, George, Morris Sr. and Batum. And on the other hand, we only got three players coming out. O'Neal, Favors, swaps in for Robert, and Mike Conley checking in for Mitchell. His second shot's good as Rajon Rondo gets his second bucket. And number four. He's got four points, and there's number four on the back. He's out of bounds. Wow. That's not how we start here. And now McDonavich will come in for Joe Ingles. Able to play it back again. But it may not be enough for him to just go from here. Or John Brando finds more senior. He takes a drive, and he goes down on the floor. Close call here, no foul given up by Derek Favors or Royce O'Neal. It's hard for him to stop by. Here's Conley, only 5.55 left to go. Conley looking out on the run, able to cross it over. O'Neal up, trying to take a rebound, and he goes stepping back in. They will take a tough score here, down by 10. Rajon Rondo able to find himself out if they wanted to give it all. Rondo to Jackson. Lamar Sr. Rajon Rondo trying to fix it up. Six on the shot clock. With the shot, it doesn't bite in that time. And he missed again. Conley 
to Clarkson. Fade shot over Senior, and he goes in. He gets his first bucket here for Jordan Clarkson. Field goals up there, we have 71% for the Clippers and 61% for the Jazz. The Seals on Conley, he will go all alone. And he just able to make the layup and he gets up to two. I'll be down by six. Up over again to a two. A two, binding Marjan Rondo over to George for three. Fires from deep, and he takes a first swish of this game on PG-13. He has seven, seven points, only 4.25 left. Timeout on the Utah Jazz. It's very hard for them to keep it going, but this is what everyone was thinking. They're trying to complain about beating LAC. Not too much to go from here, but this is why they are just wanting to take it from, that, from down the angle. Now first I'm going to bring Patrick Beverly in. I'm going to make sure if he can get there in perfect condition to see what he can do. Two to three zone, I'm going to make him uh, look better. Only one player will be selling out. And now Patrick Beverly, let's see what he does here for game number five. Clarkson against George. Finally up. Right, Conley with three! Paul George in the other line. Finds with two. Now he goes up to Patrick Beverly. Taking it to it will be Gennard. Try to able to cross over it. And Luke Gennard able to sink down the first two of the game. So that's three pointers here for Luke Gennard. And two pointer on the on the on the elbow. Conley try to able to switch it from here. And Clarkson taking the two. He gets his first bucket here. I mean a second pointer tonight. Denard finding over his Beverly. He's taking a quick over to Paul George. Up and overhead, the pass, finding back Kennard. Patrick Beverly from open range, that's good! Luke Kennard gets his first assist as Patrick Beverly knocks down the three with only three times remaining. Favors over to McDonovich. And Clarkson trying to go inside, but he doesn't hit that shot here. The two getting another one warmed up here, under three minutes. George in the wing. Finding back for two, right around the dip. He drives it in. He gets another two-pointer from Nicholas Batu. And he gets his second bucket. Conley. Clarkson in reverse layup it goes. What a beautiful play here for the Utah Jazz to be picking up. And oh, Paul George. Finding Batu, he gets his third bucket. Assist by Paul George. Not sure what he's going to do next, but he uh, doesn't want to get into three second rule. Clarkson up, Jordan Clarkson, three! Mike Hundley taking the assist, time it. L-A-C. Two time to remain in the first half. Right now, I'm going to need to sub out Nicholas Batum. I'm going to bring back Ibika Zubox in. And we're going to try to only do once at a time. That's it. Here we go. Let's see what happens here on this one. Here's George taking four assists here tonight in game number five. Zubox takes a reverse, takes a layup drive. He will get his first bucket here. They're up by 10. With under two minutes left, here's Conley. A double man trying to catch it. Mitchell, not able to pick a triple. He missed a three. Zubox finds Luke Kennard. Now he goes right to Zubox. Back to Kennard. And all right, back to Zubox. Over Gobert, and this one drops it in. 
Uh, number two pointer here for Zubox. We're down to under uh, 120 left, which is 70 seconds, 80 seconds to go. Mitchell alley -oop. Oh, what a play here. Rudy Gobert able to take the, the hit on the glass board. And an assist is on Mitchell. A perfect alley -oop pass here. Well done. Last minute left for the first half. I need a quick motion here. He finds man over Ingles. Shots miss. Rudy Gobert able to try to save it again with another scoring rebound. And Stanley Cup, yes, it's already over. And now you know who won Tampa Bay Lightnings. They won two consecutive uh, Stanley Cups as to be crowned as a champion. And it looks like uh, the Canadian team of Cana Canadians are not able to take a win. If you're a Canadian fan, then you're in a wrong spot. You're in America. Like, if you're not in America, you might be in a different country here. So don't tell me. Mitchell, that's the first one. Following along with Zubox's first personal. And don't miss out the uh, Tokyo Olympics coming the coming this stuff coming soon here. It's going to be on July 23rd, so make sure you watch it here on NBC on each event. We know that who's going to win a whole thing? USA, USA. This is what we really want to see what happens here on this game. You're going to love this one. So here's Blue Box. Only 35 seconds left to go. Paul George with the shot. That's good. That's going to keep it going up again. Up by 10. 30 seconds left to go here. Mike Conley finds Ingles up. Joe Ingles missed the three pointer. Now he takes a deep pass into the two on one. Oh man. We got Paul George in around the, uh, around the paint. He gets 11 points, able to take 13 if he gets it again. Now there's only 10 seconds for the game clock. Mitchell trying to survive it, and Matt steals it. And Zubox will have to just leave it off from here. With the score being counted, it's 51 to 39. Clippers are extending this lead so far, and we'll find out if they can pick a pressure on to get it from here. Time to go to courtside of DA. David? Kevin, thanks so much. Kawhi, you seem to be so at ease out there. How much is that helping your game? Yeah, it's helping me out a lot. Uh, just coming in the game relaxed, just with more intensity. I mean, my teammates are getting me involved on the offensive end. I'm playing great on defense. We just got to keep it up second half and not let it up. Hey, Kawhi, thank you very much for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, TA. We'll be right back here for the second half. Don't go anywhere. Vivid Smart Arena will continue after this message. And if you're just tuning in for the uh, first quarter, we'd like to welcome you back here for the Vivid Smart Home Arena in Utah. And we're checking out this wonderful play that we are looking for. It's called George PG-13. Only this guy, he knows how he can just handle that score being tough. One steal, five assists, 11 points. So if he gets two more, his number will be showing to how many he has scored and a number of a jersey. So let's see if Paul George can be on here. So they're all fueled up. We start the second half here as the Clippers are making a 51 to 39 lead. Jackson, another three converts. He's got eight. A lot of three-point conversions here for the LA, LA Clippers. And now this time, the screen's on Rudy Gobert. Conley able to go up. By Conley with three! Reggie Jackson he wasn't able to see this one coming, but this is what he just found out. But he really never stand a shot. George, up around, and one! Paul George delivering out the layup drive and the foul calls on Royce O'Neal. This will be his first personal, first team foul on Utah. That play was remarkable. 
I can't tell what Paul George has done, but this is what you could feel like. That Paul George, the number on the back, there you go. Number 13, 13 points. Patrick Beverly able to let him score, but this was only one three-pointer to make. And with Paul George, Patrick Beverly says, I think I truly believe him for this guy. He has been playing many times with his team, but was unsure what he was going to do after playing with the OKC Fundos. So he realized that he wants to do it. Well, you made a good choice here, uh, Paul George. We'll see what you could do. Greggy Jackson, pass over to Kawhi Leonard. And the three-pointer, George, converts another three-pointer. It's another assist on the claw. Kawhi Leonard receiving another assist here. And Paul George gets 16 points. 5.45 left to go here in the third quarter. And O'Neal up for two. He doesn't hit that one. Paul George to Kawhi Leonard. He has three assists in this game, but might be able to see what he could just do in order to uh, make his time effort to make it a more ability. Finds George. Drive and one! Another foul on Royce O'Neal. And it's 18 on Paul George, converting with three pointers. Field goals out of just one already missing the shot. One shot left for Paul George. He missed one free throw before before Jazz could take the ball and turn it the other way. Nice well, and now he's got to fix it anyway, so let's see what he does. Three fouls on the Clippers. Other team are giving a lot of pressure here. And he has one in. Paul George delivered it out 19 points in this game. But this is much what they are looking for. Now here is Mitchell. Don't man carry. O'Neal. Oh, it's tipped away by Nicholas Batum. He says, not in my house. Jackson finding more senior. And now it looks like Royce O'Neal's cold. But well, that time it's more senior making a drive. It's four points for him. We have one, one player that's called. Now, timeout called is on Utah. 4.55 left to go. It's 64 to 42. Not just enough to well, make a handoff out of many. But maybe there might be a lot more to get things done. I'm going to sub out Paul George, bring Kennard in, and then Kawhi Leonard. I'm going to need to. I'm going to try to uh, keep an eye on him just to make sure that he gets better. Let's try to limit it. Let's just slow it down that time. And uh, let's just go. Let's get the free lens. Yeah, I'll be all right on that one. But this might not be tough for me to just look for any. If there are, if there are anything going on. Tuning into the NBA Finals, then you know what the chances are. Which team do you want to win? There are no choices in this question. I don't know which one you are looking for. So, you got your choice here. You change here for the Clippers and the Jazz. We have this uh, Luke Kennard coming in for Paul George. Vidalovic makes a three! Jackson, making up another carriage here on this platoon. I mean, Bobo Donovich for three! Somebody's calling who's man, but Kennard able to step for it, and he keeps it going! Another three-pointer here for Luke Kennard, and they are extending the lead for the Clippers! Donovan Mitchell able to just swerve it out of it. Favors. He doesn't hit that time. It's 4.15 left to go. Kawhi Leonard, two rebounds. And a lot of rebounding change here for the Clippers and Utah for tonight. 12 on Clippers, 8 on the Jazz. Jackson trying to just scurve up over Royce O'Neal. That shot's good. Ricky Jackson, 10 points in the game, 80% for the Clippers, 58 for the Jazz. Now Royce O'Neal has to get back up here again, finding a little bit of open man. Mitchell outside. Screen is not doing out. Mitchell takes the floater. 
He has 13 in a row. Reggie Jackson able to scurve it up a bit. He's on a streak here. Nick Batum looking over the player. He finds Kennard. Marcus Morse not able to take the screen. Kennard up. He takes a drive. He's big on that carry. 13 points for Kennard. 3.15 left to go here for the third quarter. Mitchell against Kennard. He's just trying to just slow it down here. And the screen's on Derek Favors. The step up, the shot's good. Timeout on LA Clippers. Only three minutes gone by in the third quarter. Not sure what there is, what is gonna happen here, but this might be tougher than to score it around on the other end. Well, let's sub out Nick Fatu and Kawhi Leonard and bring Ivica Zubox and Kawhi Leonard out to bring another player back in, man. Let's see how well this could turn out. Only a couple players are making switches here. Man for Kawhi Leonard and for the other player, Rajon Rondo for Jack. For, uh, for making a switch on R Reggie Jackson. And Ivica Zubox for the two. Two players are checked out. Bogdanovich moves to point four as Joe Ingles is checked in. And once again, Zubox able to take a shot here and he has made that one. Now it's 73 to 49. Mitchell working around a bit, finding the floor, open up, and it's fouled. He's fouled by Ivica Zubox, his second personnel. Another team foul here on the Clippers, and it was making a lot of too much pressure. Angel. Donovan Mitchell able to do one for two at the free throw line. His first shot goes in. Not seeing what Donovan Mitchell was seeking, but uh, if he wants to play with the Portland Trail Blazers, then he doesn't have anything to encourage them to show what they have here. It might not be hard for him to train, but it might be hard for him to look for himself carefully. His second free throw is good. It's 73 to 51. Only 2.30 left to play. Rajon Rondo to Morris Sr. Morris Sr. able to carry it out. Finding Jackson. Looking over again. Shots miss. Donovich with the rebound here. Only 2.15 left to play. Clarkson drives through the paint. He has 11 right now for tonight and 8 in the paint. Now here's Rojan Rondo, just about two minutes in the third quarter. Rojan Rondo, past the man. Now he's trying to make a quick switch here. Bounce pass to Zubox. Up and over to Morris Sr. And that shot will be going in as Zubox takes the assist. Morris Sr.'s got six. Rondo only has three assists and four buckets. Two, two buckets made. Another shot for Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell is tied up with Paul George, 19. Under 90 seconds here, Rojan Rondo passes to Zubox. Zubox only got two assists in this game. Moore Sr. rolling over to Reggie Jackson. Finding a screen is a uh, nope. That shot's going to be tough. Another miss by L.A. Clippers. Joe Ingles around again. Oh, it's deflected by a man, and it will not be in time for them to score by. Morse Sr. trying to make a switch here, and now they got to reset it up. Offensive foul, Marcus Morse Sr. With the illegal screen, and that block will be on Nick Batu. He will take a first one on mobile one block. Not sure what he has to do, but he's got it all. He's got it all that he could do. And don't forget, Space Jam New Legacy is on its way, so 
You don't want to miss that one out here. It's on HBO Max. You can watch it anytime. If you don't have one, just, just subscribe to the channel and you'll get the, uh, the free trailer here at number three, Jordan Clarkson. I'm sorry, but uh, make sure you even do it on HBO Max just in case you want to do it right on your phone, tablet, or on TV device. Might be tougher than to do a buy, but you might have to watch for your free trial before renewing it. So make sure you get one if you don't have it. Or head into the movie theater. That shot will be off the mark here for man. Conley with the ball, 10 seconds to play. I'll be over, Clarkson. I'll be inside. And didn't hit the frisk. Man will have to lead it off with the end of the third quarter. It's 75 to 58. Well play out there for the Clippers, but there could be a chance for the Clippers to take the lead 3-2 over them. We'll see how this goes when we get back after this. And the candidates here, let's check out the State Farm Assist of the Game. And we're checking on this player that we have never caused out before was Marcus Morris Sr. to Paul George on the Clippers. Able to save it from here. It could be very hard for him to just uh, hit it by. Well played deserved here for Marcus Morris Sr. But their time is running down to a final quarter of the game. Let's see if the Clippers can hold tight here in Game 5 before they head back in Game 6 and take a win in the series to upset the team. It's going to be very hard for him, but you'll find out. Joe Ingles, 3! That's a number 3-pointer, but they are catching it down by. Here's Paul George. Passes over to Morris Sr. George, a number 3! That's good! 22 for Paul George. They're way ahead to just pick it up the pick it up the turning point of the game. Clarkson on man. He goes over and he's fouled by Nick Batum. He was able to get the defender in time and he got fouled. This is his first personal. And wrote and um, Jordan Clarkson will be going to the free throw line to shoot two. He never done it before, but this might be his first to be in game five. The clock stopped at like 6.13 left to go. Let's see if he can make two of them at the same time. He hits one. New change here for the Clippers as Kawhi Leonard checks in for Mann and Paul George moving to shooting guard. This can almost be a, and this is their starting lineups for the Clippers. That will hit it in for two free throws for Jordan Clarkson. Paul George has 22. They're trying to stop with the man to defend it. And Paul George is not going anywhere. He's got 24 points. 12 in the paint. Six minutes here in this fourth quarter. Clarkson on George. And he goes inside. Over McToo. And he scooped it up. Well play out there for uh, Jordan Clarkson. I mean, he has never just faced out with a radical issue here. The two, finding over George. George over to Morris Sr. He's got six. He could be up here. He gets two more. And there's his number on the board. Eight points. And the jersey on the back. We see Paul George in the first one, but why not do it on Morris Sr. that time? No, another foul goes on Nicholas Batum. That's going to be his second personal foul. Well, Tyrone Liu was asking Nick, Nicholas Batum to just keep the defender, not get, get bumped by the chest. It might be too heavy for him to just make a heavy contested shot, and Mike Conley will go to the free throw line to shoot two. 
I have not seen anybody doing it at a time, but this is very hard for him to just make a training on the board. His first shot has gone in. Nice Stephen Pimps this bumps here. Really like it. One shot left. And that's gonna be in there too. Paul George again. Pass to Morris Sr. Bounce pass to Jackson. Jackson. Over to George. Oh, he's stepping in there in time. He's just got lucky enough. 26 points. He's on a streak here in game five. Here's Clarkson on George. Screen on Gobert, but it was squeezed out of it. Nice Steve with the ball rebound. Rudy Gobert. Clarkson. On boy later. And he's cutting in. Make a drive. Oh, it's Rudy Gobert in reverse dunk. Well, you just got to slow it down a bit here, Rudy Gobert. And then you got the feeling to make that pass better. That's going Jordan Clarkson. That's a good play out there. And now the timeout is called on LA Clippers. Let's sub out one of each players here. I'm going to bring out Jackson and bring Rojan Rondo back in. Take out Batum and Ivica Zubox. And more Senior out for... Um, Patrick Patterson. Not sure what else I'm going to say, but this is why I'm going to make a switch here. Also do changing here for the Utah Jazz. Here's Patterson, you he will do it for his first time in game five. Patterson. I'm not sure what he has done. Patrick Beverly, Patrick Patterson. It could be the same. Donovan Mitchell has checked in here too for Jordan Clarkson. Kawhi Leonard, the claw, able to bite the dust over Joe Ingles. There looks like extending the lead so far. It's been overextended. Donovan Mitchell on George, finding back is Mitchell. Mitchell up on the two. That's good. 87 to 71 to score, 21 points for Mitchell, four in mid-range. Rojan Rondo able to look around. First he finds Patterson, then he takes the pass to Zubox. Back to Rondo. Back to Rondo with the three. He didn't hit that one, and he missed it. Another miss by L.A. Oh no, Paul George, failure to do the block, but it wouldn't work at all. So that means he has received his first personal 13 foul on LA Clippers, 3.27 to go. Only 87 and 71 the score will be on a risk. Donovan Mitchell shooting two at the free throw line. His first shot is into the air. And Bogdanovich checking in for Joe Ingles. Hard of him to shoot. That's more what he has to do. And a second basket is good. We're under about 3.30 left to go here. Here's George Armando passing over to George. George finding his Roger Armando, taking reverse. That's good. Paul George is setting another assist here in this game. Plus, he's extending the game here to just make the averaging cut and a streaking throw. Donovich up. Go Rob Donovich for three. 
Rajon Rondo to Paul George. He's got eight in the game. On the assist, Zubox, 2.50 left to go. Zubox finding Rojan Rondo. Heavy feed off. But it will not hit it off this time as the uh, number of hits goes on Rojan Rondo. Only four points and two points in the game. Mitchell with nobody around. It's Mitchell with three. We'll say you're down by ten. Rojan Rondo able to loop it out. He finds Zubox. Bounce pass to Leonard. Bounce pass to Patterson. Patterson to Leonard. Patterson for three. His first three-pointer is no good. You're asking him to make a no three-pointer. It's McDonavich missing. Two minutes here for the fourth quarter. Oh, boy, Leonard does not need one. He's just kicking up the point here, up by 12. Timeout on LA, nope, Utah Jazz. I can't believe it. This is all I have asked for to see what's gonna happen. Now, subbing out George will be Luke Kennard. I also subbing out, will, also subbing out will be Kawhi Leonard to pick one. Well, no, well, we'll keep it on him. We'll bring a man to man on his own. Two to three zone is not working out that right. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens that time. And now, New Balance player of the game goes out to Paul George, PG 13. Never missed out with the best shot ever, and the assist was just incredible. I am not surprised at what he's going to do. And a Claude Leonard would have realized that this play is no joke. PG-13 is the best guy on the dynamic duo with the Clippers. Not too much out there, but that's more what you can definitely think about that. Clarkson outside, going inside, is in there. They're down by 10. Over again. I mean, Reggie Jackson. He goes right to Kawhi Leonard. Over again, but two. Gets a cut in there, right next to the box, and he gets another point here. Kawhi Leonard able to take another assist. But two's got tied up now by eight on Rudy Gobert. Ogdanovich for three. That won't go in there. Under 90 seconds left. Reggie Jackson able to pick up Three rebounds here. Gennard on Gobert. Here's Jackson up with the shot. That's going to be sending inside to extend the score run. 12 points for Reggie Jackson. Jordan Clarkson up with the two. He doesn't hit it off. But two on Moore Sr. Outside in the pointer is Luke Kennard. Kennard Jackson with a three. He doesn't hit that time. Rudy Gobert making another saving rebound. Oh, hello, Conley. Missed the three. And with that pointer, will be knocked out of the way with only under 40 seconds here. Kawhi Leonard to Batum up to Kennard. It's very hard for him to teach. Batum, more senior, six on the shot clock. Warrior Senior. Warrior Senior doesn't hit that two-pointer. He's getting a little bit lacked off again. Kawhi let, I mean, Mike Conley takes the layup and this drive. And now their team is down to 12 seconds to go. Kawhi Leonard gets four assists. One more possession here. Jackson. Moore Sr., and he will hold it off to finish the score run. Final score is 95 to 83. Clippers are back in the lead, the lead at two. They'll be back here in LA in game six, but there's more to get stick around on this game. And it's now time to send you to courtside to DA. Let's see what you have here, DA. I'm stretched, so what was the difference? 
Uh, he started to play defense and execute on the offensive end, and we finally started to knock down shots. Well, that led to a win, man, and I appreciate your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, CA. Thank you for watching of game number five of Jazz vs. Clippers. We'll get to see them sometime here in game six. And after the last matchup for Portland and the Suns, we'll go back to Eastern Con go back, stick, stick with the Western Conference for now for the Clippers and the Jazz in game six at LA in Staples Center. So, without being said, peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA playoff dial of the part that we have never seen before. So, stick around next time, and we'll catch you there soon. Good night in Utah, part of the Jazz Note. Probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, y'all probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hating. And y'all yearn for rooms is gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.